What? You want to watch basketball? Basketball. Do you want to watch it? Hey. Say hi, everyone. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> I wanted to start you guys with two things. First thing, the live stream. We're doing a live stream before every game. You're like, who am I who are you talking to, Dad? <laughs> We're doing a live stream before every game. 20 minutes before every game. Marcellus, B. Ellis, and a Millie. I'm sure you guys may have seen it. Um, they talk yeah. about the last game and the game that we're about to watch. So I wanted to bring Pearson here to say hi to everybody. Also, he just finished breakfast. Don't judge him. Uh, and then the second thing I wanted to say is that, hey, man, if you don't have people hating on your craft, you're probably doing something wrong. Um, you know, focus on you. Focus on how you can continually do better in life and don't focus on anybody else's opinion. Someone's opinion of you does not define your self-worth. So let's get into this basketball video, though. It's Kamari and Draco versus DC Heat and EJ. I'm very pumped uh, to watch this. It's DC Heat's debut. I know he played well. I didn't get a chance to tap into the basketball. premiere yes Basketball. I didn't get a chance to tap into the premiere yesterday because um, I had some family over. So this is my first time watching the video. I remember seeing the game though, so it's just funny. It's funny from this perspective because I've seen the game before, but I haven't seen the video yet. Scar's performance in the last video was pretty crazy. It's really cool this one v one tag team stuff going on right now. Hand on the hip. Very tactical. But as we're getting into this two v two right now, I'm very excited to see how Kamari and Draco work together, and EJ and DC Heat because EJ and DC Heat have never played together before, but they're both hoopers. They both played at a decently high level. And, uh, you know, Kamari and Draco, they're definitely ready to go. This is like their game. Draco, Draco might turn up for sure. This is, this is good stuff. You know, we've seen Draco in the ones before. We've seen him in the twos. Uh, don't start doing this. I re All right, look, I saw a comment on like, hey, Friga, it's not your Wi-Fi. It might just be you needing to restart your computer. I restarted everything, and here we go. The wheel of death already. I'm going to get it changed after this one for you guys because I'm not going to be able to. Right off the bat. Shoot it. Actually, now that I'm watching this, I do remember the game starting off pretty good for Draco and Kamari. I was like, oh, yeah, it's 2-0. Yeah. I'm saying, man, Draco in this team setting, that's another one that kind of had a low team rating to me personally. I don't know how you guys feel, but I feel like Draco may have had too low of a team rating, but maybe maybe we just need to see a little bit more. Um, Cam, how's it going, man? Now, God, it's hard to tell. Uh, you know, I'm just going to let the video roll. I'll bring it up in a little bit. If you guys are here in this reaction, give the video a like. Dang. 8-0 like that, Pierce? 8-0? Yeah. Shoot it. Man, if you guys are here, give the video a like and subscribe to the second channel. Let me know if you guys want me to react more. I wanted to react to all of season nine. I said that about the last season and then it didn't go through. Shoot it. When he says that, he's yelling, shoot it. When you become a member, you and a guest are automatically entered in a chance to be flown out to watch season 10 live. Oh! If you guys know anything about Kamari by now, if he would have got this back door, oh my goodness. Good defense. Dang. <laughs> Please let me know if I should have Pierce in more of the reactions. Team Cam is on fire right now. 10-0 start. The thing about the format that I love, well, not, not just that I love, but the thing about the format that makes these games even more interesting is that when you win, right? If I'm on Team Cam, you win. Cam and Scar get that W in the 1v1. 
going into that 2v2, you have so much less pressure being Draco and Kamari. Like, you can really ball out because you're like, man, we can go as hard as we can right now. Sorry, I'll play it. We can go as hard as we can right now. And even if we lose, we still get to the 3v3 and get another chance. And it's tough. There is so much pressure on you being on the DC Heat and EJ side is like, all right, we have to win or else we move straight onto the loser's bracket already after the first game. So just notice how EJ and DC Heat play on offense versus Draco and Kamari. Like you see on every checkup, Draco and Kamari get like a, damn it, I'm sorry, guys. They get like a ball screen or some sort of movement. Okay, okay, okay. I spoke too soon. I don't know if it's just me, but I, I guess as high as Kamari jumps, I'm going to send this to him too. As high as Kamari jumps, I never really see him like be like, all right, I'm just going to be a rebounding machine, you know? He's a, he's a great shooter and a great dunker, great highlight play, and he's also an amazing teammate. But we got to get that man in there to rebound. Unless I'm wrong. Maybe I got to watch more. Maybe I got to watch more. I got a coffee right here. I don't even really drink coffee like that. Damn, Draco. Look at this breakdown. Catches it at his own. Dribble, tween, tween. That's a nice combo. I love that move. When somebody looks like they're going, you know, going into driving. I knew Draco was coming on time, and a lot of people don't know Draco was injured. Draco is fully healthy now. It's a different Draco. Damn, bro. I'm getting pissed off. I might just stop this reaction. Fully healthy now. Hey. Good defense. I love these camera angles, like these camera switches are amazing. The production is just, it gets better and better. It's crazy. Damn, do something with it, Yo, what the hell? Hey, Damn, sorry, do something sorry, with it, sorry, I yeah, shouldn't right. say that. You were telling him to. Time out white, time out team cam. A little bit more like Where did you get that? Where did you get that granola bar? Can I have some? Ah. Can I have some? Hey, <laughs> what the heck? Swipe a no swipe. Basketball. ball. Sorry. Like, I can't even pause it for three seconds to just hang out. It's just unpaused. Basketball. Guys, please don't unsubscribe because of the lagging. It will get better through time. I am learning, okay? It's not that bad. It's just not as good as, you know, Marcellus Howard, B. Ellis, A. Millie. They've got it unlocked. I'm just kidding, relax. I'm pretty sure. Oh, shoot. Nah, Draco, he just broke you down, buddy. Shit. Shoot. God, guys, my bad. You guys are witnessing me, the, the bad father parts. I swear I'm a good dad. Sometimes I just need to watch my mouth. Because now he's starting to repeat. Okay. Dang. I forgot he was going crazy like this. Is going right now, A lot of people don't know he can actually hoop. And he loves basketball. That's the thing. Not a lot of people in this space actually love hoop like that. Yeah, 
another one. So they switched Kamari on DC Heat. <laughs> what you think about DC Heat, Cam? Ah, uh, he didn't woke up a little bit. He surprised me. <laughs> it's so tough because, like, I can't tell if EJ just never got a chance to get going because Aiden. He likes to take a lot of shots, all right? I've played basketball with DC Heat before. There's nothing wrong with it. He can get to a bucket, especially when somebody's confident and they're trying to get to a bucket. But there's times when it's like, hey, you know, I got a good score on my team. I need to get him going too because, like Cam says, basketball can go either way, either day. And basketball. Yes, basketball. Can you say Cam? Ham. Ham? But, uh... I think I would have liked to see EJ go a little bit more in this. Now, I don't know how that's – he might have to demand the ball a little bit more. I brought it up in our group FaceTime with the committee with Marcellus Howard, B. Ellis, Scotty, A. Millie, and them. And they just said somebody that scores like that, they needed to man the ball a little bit more. It's tough, though. It really is showing you where the chemistry part comes in. Because for Draco and Kamari, it's like if Draco wants the ball more, it's easier for him to demand it than it is for EJ to go up to DC Heat and be like, give me the ball. I think that's where the chemistry plays. <laughs> you stop. <sighs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I kind of like this Kamari Draco team. I think a lot of people. I do like Kamari and Draco on a two v two team. Because of the dribbling aspect, because Draco's Draco's more of an off ball player, but he's showing like everything he can do. Man. I'm gonna drink this coffee and get some more energy for you guys halfway through. Man, if I ever play Kamari, I'm forcing him right. Because he's got that left dribble pull up on lock. <laughs> you know he's going to do what it. What you think of DC Heat? Nobody out there can go at DC Heat right now. And y'all see it. If you see it in the comment section, throw up a, a Clover in there because Clover said it. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> DC, hey, he is for the content, bro. This is crazy. It. If you see it in the comment section, throw up a, a Clover in there because hey. Clover said it. Hey. Yeah. He looked back oh, at him. He looked back at him. He looked, he turned and looked at him too. <laughs> DC Heat! That would have been a huge, huge momentum shift for them if he would have made that. Can't dunk it. <laughs> Shoot it! Oh, Draco, you gotta make free throws. The, these free throws, bro. That is the thing. This is the key. Pay attention in these games this season to the free throws. Pay attention to the free throws. Wow, I'm talking pretty loud. My bad, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Because you could get an and one, get to the free throw line, miss your free throw, and the other team gets it. You know how when you score, you get the ball back. I don't know. I feel like the rule could change, but it wouldn't make any sense. Damn, Aiden. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but had EJ made a couple more shots, him and DC, he could have won this game. It doesn't all come down to that, but DC, he's hooping. I think at one point he does start to hold on to the ball a little bit, but man, I don't know. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. It's a tough shot. Never mind, maybe I'm tripping. Yeah. 
He's gonna speak in Spanish. Oh, that's hard. Man, do you see heat? Like, low key? <laughs> Man, crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Boy, on. <laughs> right now, Leaky Roof. Level. I'm a fan right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he's bugging. DC Heat, EJ, talk to me about how you guys feel. It's 16 12 right now, you know? Halftime. You guys need this win. If you lose this 2v2, you go to the loser's bracket. If you win this, we They're can like, shut up, everything. we don't want to know that right now. So, talk to me right now. Yeah, we're ready to fucking go. We're ready to fucking go. I don't even want to talk, I want to fucking go. <laughs> Let's go. EJ, we just gotta keep with the intensity, keep getting stops. Shit, the bucket's gonna fall. We good. I want to see a right season now. where EJ just spaz, but I want to see. Hey, when he come, when he coming off, or, or he like coming around, whoever, whoever is open space breaker, y'all gotta go attack that nigga right there, chop y'all feet at him, and get it in his body. You feel me? I promise I will figure out my computer situation ASAP. You have anything to say? You want to watch basketball? You ready? See, I just feel like they could get, they could get a better shot. Maybe, maybe I'm tripping because I don't think it's necessarily all EJ's fault. I just don't think they used each other properly. If they, if they use each other properly, they could have won this game. And if you're watching this for the first time, I apologize that I just spoiled it for you. But honestly, you shouldn't be watching it for the first time here. You should be watching it for the first time on the next chapter YouTube channel, which is linked below. They was going for the pass. It was the right play for sure. But if you be selfish sometimes and just be like, fuck them. Uh. What do you think about That's the whole game so far? This 2v2. I'm not going to lie to you. I I kind of picked Draco and Kamaru because of how the last game ended. And I feel like they was going to carry the momentum, which they did. They just not laying down, bro. You know what I'm saying? So this bitch, I don't know who's going to win. It looked like it's leaning towards DC heating them. Could be a game three, but it's basketball, bro. Who knows? Well. Game yeah, three, DC Heat, boy. Oh, you think so? Fast. Look at that. <laughs> Turn around. Oh my God. Lucky bounce. I don't think I like coffee. Big shot. I almost Huge just said shot. that too on this mic. That was a really big Huge shot, though. Guy. Hold on. Hold on. Don't touch that. Don't touch that, please. Please don't touch it. No. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> That's a big shot, too. Please. I know you guys see it in a lot of other people's reactions, but in this... Uh, this offensive setting here the floor is pretty spaced out like you can't even see kamari and ej draco goes under aiden's arm here i don't know what the rest of the play is but that's just a good move draco moves slower than most of the hoopers on next chapter but he uses his body better than most and what i mean by that is that like it looks it looks like he's quicker like he gets his body in front of people when he goes by them, and he uh, just makes the hoop more available. How's to the game going right now, Fombi? Or what's going through your head? Uh, it's definitely good bump, as we can see. Drake going that one little mode. I think it's really just predetermining on EJ for real, man. Because DC Heat bringing the energy, as we see. You feel good me? Defense. Like, so good defense. EJ, I just feel like he just got to adjust out there some more and you know, get himself more involved. Hey, we'll take you guys' comments and stuff into consideration. As you can see, I'm still in the back over here interviewing, but we're not leaving all of the audio in. We we do take a lot of what you guys say into consideration. So please continue to give us tips and everything because we're we know our videos are not perfect. We want them to be the best they can, and we're gonna take all the advice from the fans, like what you guys like, what you dislike. So Please let us know. We want and we would appreciate the feedback. 
please don't give me feedback on the damn that move was crazy don't give me feedback on two things one pause in the fucking video a lot and two my computer lagging all right no don't touch that this move was crazy by draco double cross huh 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 gotta hit that oh my god oh my god break him down He's fighting though, man. Oh Damn, my goodness. Wow. Team That's a Cam huge shift. Yo, I forgot. Uh, Nas, Court, Zay, Tim. Team Cam calls a timeout. OG Buckets in the building. Mari Draco. Little timeout here, guys. 23 to 17, you're gonna put this game away? Go 2-0? Uh, that's the plan. That's the plan. You just gotta focus in and, and go ahead and put him away. You saying hi? Keo, gotta end this shit right now. Drake up on him, go get a little bucket to the paint. That shit ain't working. I know the answers are obvious in the interviews, but it's nice to see what's going through their head in a moment like this because it's, uh, it's just a crucial time of the game. Even if you know what they're going to say, you can you can get a lot out of the energy, the body language, the nonverbals just as much as uh, the verbals. No. Nonverbal communication is... Whoever you want, go get a bucket. What just happened? Did you just turn my headset off, buddy? Oh, Pierce. Please don't turn anything off back there, buddy. Taking give me a second i'm figuring this out technical difficulties and pierce fast forward about one or two minutes into this video of you guys if you will come here I'm back. Pierce did something to my headset, and he's starting to mess with some stuff under here, so we need to get him out of here. And also, yeah, I don't know what he did. I think he turned it off. Well, if you guys are here right now, I don't know. I was trying to think of something. You want to go get a bucket in the paint? I got Damn. Yo, we should watch this. All right. What is going on? You know what? Screw it. We're going to watch the rest with uh, no audio. Yo guys, I gotta figure out my computer situation. Anybody that knows anything about this stuff, let me know what the hell is going on. I'm gonna restart it again, and figure it out, but it was working fine for me. You heard it? As soon as I do this, I got technical difficulties. All right, let's see what happens. Last couple minutes of the game here. It's kind of nice with no audio. You just straight watching the hoops. Got to put the headset on for the aesthetic. It's so oh, hard wow. to guard Kamari sometimes because his shot is so unorthodox and he jumps high and it's leaning back. So I just wish I wish just 
Like every time they would get on offense, I wish that <laughs> I wish they would the move it once Draco, or twice. Yeah. Like it, it really does help, especially in the two v two because the space on the floor is so open. You see, just that. You see, look at that. All right. I know I'm going back a little, but on the last play, DC Heat gets the ball and they kind of just go to work. There's not very much movement. On this checkup, Draco gets it. Just this little brush screen by Kamari. Just, just that made DC Heat go from guarding Draco straight up, watch his, watch his right foot, to drops back a little bit and just opens him up, pause, and bucket. And plus, you know, Draco, Draco downhill is tough, man. Draco was, uh, oh God, I can't really say too much. Can't say too much. Cannot say too much. Holy shit. 25, 17. Mind you, I can't hear anything on the video right now, so I have no idea if I'm double talking over myself. It died down. Their energy died down. Come on, Draco. I remember Draco turning up here at the end. Good defense, good defense, good defense. Damn, DC Heat. Oh. I wish I knew what he said. Yo. Did you guys see uh, Draco's Instagram post? As if you're gonna respond to me right now. Dang! Yeah, that was tough. Tough game. That was fire. But if you didn't see Draco's IG post, after this game went up, he posted the the thumbnail picture with him and DC Heat and DC Heat on the ground. And then he posted just a couple pictures with it, but his caption. I'm from the south, I'm good in the heat, but he put heat in, in uh, parentheses for DC heat. And then boogeyman ain't scaring poop emoji. So boogeyman ain't scared shit, left him shaking in the streets. And then somebody, I think Fomby screenshotted the post and sent it into the uh, season nine or season... Yeah, season nine. I'm like, what season? I had to look at the top. The season nine group chat, and they're going back and forth. But it's funny. Like, I think DC Heat wants to see Draco now. Comment below who you guys have winning that, Draco or DC Heat. <sighs> I got Draco winning that one. Sorry, Aiden. Well, maybe what? We'll, let us know if you guys want us to set it up for real or not. But maybe they'll set it up. I don't know. Appreciate you watching. Let me know what you guys thought of this game. I thought it was amazing. Great start to Season 9. 2-0 sweep by Team Cam. And they're heading on to play the winner of Team Moon versus Team Rob. So stay tuned for the... Or is it... They're heading on to play the winner of Team... I have no idea. I can't remember off the top of my head. And I don't want to give too much away. So bye.